My name is David Wu. I'm a PhD student in the Opto Electronics Research Centre at the University of Southampton, and my research is looking into developing an optical arbitrary signal generator. As the name suggests, an optical arbitrary signal generator is a device which will allow the user to generate optical signals with arbitrarily shaped waveforms. By using optics, we get away from the speed limitations which are imposed by electronics and an optical arbitrary signal generator would be expected to operate at hundreds of gigahertz as opposed to tens of gigahertz. My technique is based on the principle of Fourier synthesis where we combine multiple lasers operating at different frequencies or wavelengths and combine them together such that they interfere to form pulses. The shape of these waveforms can be altered by varying two key parameters of each of the lasers, the amplitude and the phase. This seemingly simple concept hasn't been actively pursued before because of two key challenges. Firstly, the lasers need to be coherent with one another. And secondly, there needs to be a very precise frequency difference between the lasers. Throughout my PhD, I've worked on a technique which allows me to achieve this by phase locking my lasers to a common optical reference. In my case, I've used a device known as an optical frequency comb. This is a device which has already revolutionized the field of time and frequency metrology. Much like a radio frequency arbitrary signal generator, an optical version is also expected to be a versatile general laboratory tool, which would have many applications. Particularly in telecommunications, it could be used to overcome the electronics bottleneck, which is common in current systems. It may also allow the use of advanced modulation formats, which would increase spectral efficiency. This could potentially lead to an improvement in energy efficiency. Currently, as a proof of concept experiment, the setup takes up an entire optical bench. However, in the future, I believe that miniaturization will be possible through the use of integrated optics. Through this, we can envision a product which is both portable and compact, which would be extremely useful for many applications. This, I believe, is one of the most exciting fields of development in optoelectronics.